Well, I'm back at the drawing board again. Um, I'm still trying to make those spiral cells. There's the vessel I want to use right there. Um, there's the old dry cell. It just takes too much time. It's expensive for me to make because I'm using high grade uh, material. Um, you have to make gaskets and then plates and I'm using grade 8 bolts. Here I just put two uh, coils in this uh, cell with the buck converter and it should be a lot cheaper to sell. And I was making my device to spire up some stainless and you would just turn the crank here and uh, that turns the center rod which has a slot in it now. I can get this apart. <clears throat> see the slot right there it's where the metal goes in and I tried one but now I had to upgrade a little bit it'll take a little while but I'll get it I had to put these end guide plates in and um, these this is the first coil actually this is um believe it or not three feet of uh, I don't know if that's 16 or 18 gauge stainless which I wasted <laughs> but um that's only that's three feet and it's only like two and a half inches across so I'm figuring maybe I can go five to six foot on each coil or less I'll figure it out and um, this should give me a massive amount of surface area simple to build all I gotta do is make a separator to separate the coils which I'll have a machine shop do and that'll be it so just wanted to show you what I was doing this weekend starting so have a nice day and uh, we'll see you later bye